They're impressive. For more than 20 years, Dr. Cameron Curry has marveled at how ants work together. So you can see this worker starting to get a bit bigger here. In this lab, Curry and his team monitor how these ants manage their food supply. And they actually cut leaves and they use that leaf material to grow a fungus for food. And they have their own diseases that attack their fungus gardens. Curry says they've learned the insects harbor bacteria that secretes antimicrobial substances, ensuring their crops remain disease free. That understanding could help unlock new ideas on how to help people and the growing concerns surrounding antimicrobial resistance. One of the things that we need to do is discover new chemicals, new antibiotics to treat those infectious diseases that these bacteria and fungal pathogens of humans haven't had a chance to evolve resistance to. So we need new antibiotics. The research has taken Curry around the world, including Panama and Costa Rica. Some results are showing promise, but are still a long way off for humans. We have a number of antimicrobials that are very effective against bacterial infections, but our major and most promising antimicrobials are against fungi, so these are antifungals. Bacteria on ants isn't the only thing being studied here for potential future drugs. Staff and students are also researching bacteria on other insects, including bees, wasps, and beetles. Julian Rosati, a second-year biochem undergrad, has been working on bees. He says being a part of the research has been an eye-opening experience. It's taught me that really we don't need to look in the craziest of places to find potential uh, new antibiotics because they might be right here, just in places you wouldn't expect to look. The science we do we really love because it not only has the potential application of treating a very important issue of antimicrobial resistant diseases and contributing a knowledge base that hopefully helps to resolve this. Catherine Ward, Global News.